when I was nine, I remember um, going to watch my cousin play at her practice. And um, she was with the older girls in the 10 year old group. And I just remember walking over and picking up the basketball and going to go play. And that's when I knew like, this is what I wanted to do. Frizzell gonna try another one. Offensive rebound and the put back underneath for Danielle McCray, the senior from South Florida. You coming in as a freshman, you don't really know how to adapt to the game because high school ball is a lot different than college ball. And now as a senior, you, I kind of realize what the seniors went through when I was a freshman, that leadership and everything, um, just going out and playing hard like it's your last game. I've learned a lot about time management and things. Um, in high school, I mean, time management is big, but in college, it's, it's everything. You, you gotta stay on top of your books and you gotta know what's going on on the court. I just feel that my role is to be a leader and to communicate more with my teammates, um, but also on the court, it's just um, to help win the game. You know, rebounding, scoring, everything. I'm always seen as the quiet person on our team, and Coach Matt's really been trying to push that out and just, you know, step outside my comfort zone and, and talk more on the court and off the court. Um, Danielle's kind of our silent killer, we call her, because she's not, she hasn't talked a lot, but she is so smooth on the court, and she knows how to lead as more from an example standpoint than a vocal standpoint. And Danielle is like the silent assassin. <laughs> Doesn't never say, don't say too much, uh, but when she does speak, I mean, it has to be something you did wrong or something that excites her. So um, Danielle plays a great role. She's the person that does everything right, drills and, and games and um, hustle. She doesn't talk very much, so she doesn't, she's not a vocal leader, but she she's the person that I would say, if I was an underclassman, that's who I would look at if she was in my position to, to know what to do. For me as well, I mean, we came in together, so. As far as our relationship, I, she plays off me, I play off her. Um, if she sees something I'm not doing, believe it or not, she pulls me to the side and tells me, you know, Tia, well, you need to do this, so come on, Tia. You know, if I'm having a down day, she's the first person that comes to me and says, you know, you gotta pick it up, or, or sends me a message if she knows something's bothering me, that, you know, and I appreciate that. But Just that silent force that um, her game is what basically we, a lot of our players feed off of because she's not silent when the ball gets in her hand. She's a very athletic player that can get to the rim and score in many different ways. She's a player you can put the ball in her hand and say get to the rim and either get fouled or get us a bucket at the rim. Left wing to Joseph. Joseph with 15 seconds. Entry pass down low to McCray, goes up. Oh down. my gosh! She got the shot to go, there was no foul. I thought there was a foul called. We know night in and night out what we're gonna get out of Danielle. Um, she's going to give us what she gives us every single night. She's going to play with 100% effort every single night. Always, always going to be very coachable and um, do what we ask her to do in terms of offensively or defensively. She's very dependable. She's someone that I just depend on and just know what I'm getting out of her each and every game.